Hey y'all, Georgie here from GSD Solutions with another video all about Zoom. Zoom is honestly one of our favorite platforms to do events on, virtual events, uh, meetings, all that jazz. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to one, record your Zoom meeting, and then two, get the recording from your Zoom meeting. So first up, how do you actually record it? So let's head on over to Zoom. So this one, you'll be in a meeting. For example, you're in the Zoom meeting at the bottom bar. So only the admin or whoever has access to be a co-host on the event will be able to see these buttons. So you wanna go ahead and hit record and it'll ask you, do you wanna record on this computer or do you wanna to record to the cloud? So let's do record on this, um, record to the cloud. Actually, let's start with record to the cloud. So if you hit record to the cloud, what's gonna happen is that your video, when you're ready to receive it, right? So you'll record it there. And then after you end the Zoom session, you don't have to do anything else on your desktop Zoom. What you need to do is come to your account on zoom.us, head over to my account. On the left side of the screen, right? You're gonna go over to recordings. And then you will see all of your cloud recordings. And then at the right side of the screen, you'll see a little share button next to the recording. There's a little three dots. You could either click that, be careful. Red is delete, do not do that. You wanna download three files. So when you download the files that are there, it'll give you the MP4 version, which is like the video with the audio. Then it'll give you just an audio version. And then it'll lastly give you the chat. So those three things, the chat, video as well as just audio only of the session so that's great that's amazing you can also share the recording digitally so you could hit share and it'll give you a link that you can then send to maybe your um audience or whoever was at the webinar if you want them to watch and you could change the settings to allow it to be you know everyone with the recording could watch it only sign in users no one else specific people or you, again you could update the settings for what people can see. Do you wanna have it have a passcode, an expiration date? Um, do you wanna allow viewers to download? So you can check or uncheck what you need to, or even a cool one, viewers need to register. So if you did a webinar on Zoom and you wanna have people register so you could continue collecting emails while they're watching the replay, you wanna definitely hit that button that says viewers need to register to watch. So you'll do that with the recording, right? So that's how it's all hooked up. Now the other way. So the other way is a little bit more scary for folks that are not as familiar with their computer, with their computer tools. It's recording to your desktop. And so what happens is that you hit record and you hit record to this computer. When you end the Zoom session, you may see a pop-up come on your screen. So we're going to just do this for test purposes. So, you know, testing, testing, recording, recording, yada, 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 right? So I'm going to end this Zoom session. So where is that? I'm gonna end this Zoom session and meeting for all, right? So it's saying this file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. So it just did that. And here you can see on my screen, it pops up to show the folder where I have my Zoom recording saved. So I actually made, you know, selected the location. So you can select the location by going into your settings, which I'll show right after this. So it's showing me and confirming, save my recording at this location. Or alternatively, I could choose a new location. So I'm cool with the location, so I'm gonna hit save. And then that recording is now saved in my folder with Zoom videos, and I have the folder with the audio recording as well as the video recordings. Now, how did I hook that up in the first place? Well, I would have had to go into my settings on Zoom. So I'm gonna log in and go into my settings. Alrighty, so I've logged into Zoom on my desktop app, right? And what I would wanna do is when I'm logged in, I would hit my little icon in the top right corner, and then I will scroll down to settings. So here is where I have all the different settings, and I wanna go down to recording because we're specifically talking about recording right now. So this is where I'll be able to select the location where I would like for my videos to save on my desktop when I finish recording the Zoom meeting, right? When I select record to local device. Then, or I could alternatively, you know, switch it up each time. I do not recommend this because it'll be so easy for you to lose those files. So I would not choose that. Um, a cool thing that I selected, and the reason I selected this was for podcast recording. So you can record a podcast on Zoom. You've probably seen the videos on YouTube. That's how I recorded my podcast episodes with guests that were not in the same location, especially over uh, COVID, right? 
So allowing each person to record their, uh, allowing Zoom to record individual audio files allows for, for example, one person, their background got really loud, and while the other person was talking, now in the post edit, you can chop that out. You don't have to have that in there. But if you only have one audio source, whatever comes into that audio source and whatever is blended, you have to keep for both people. So I definitely selected that setting. Then um, I selected to have display participant's name. So you could turn that on or off depending on how you want to have your recordings done. Um, you could also select optimize for third party video editor. So that's a cool setting. Add a timestamp. I personally don't like to have the timestamp on there. Um, record video during screen sharing. So that is super important to have checked, especially if you plan to screen share or, sh you know, it, maybe it's like a workshop or something educational, because then the person will be like, yeah, so on the slide, next slide, and there's nothing in the recording. Raise your hand if that's happened to you. <laughs> yes. So this is where you click the button to make sure that that is there. Um, and you could also, you know, place video next to screen recording. You may, you may not need that. It'll toggle and do its thing. Um, and yeah, so it'll show you how much cloud space you have, et cetera. But this is where you hook up all the recording settings, like all the way. And then there's one more location that you can, you know, enhance some of those recording settings, which will be back in Zoom, hit settings. And y'all know I don't like to scroll down. Oh, actually they moved it. It's right there, recording. <laughs> and so this is where you could select additional settings, right? So saving the chat, um, closed caption, if you do any of those, as well as now this is where you'll set the cloud recording settings, right? Record active speaker. Do you want gallery view? Do you want to add the timestamp? So all of those features that I selected or didn't select for the local recording, I could also select here for the cloud recording, right? And I could allow it to be shared. Do you want to automatically always record, right? Some people in meetings need that, or do you want to have authorization? So there's a bunch of settings that you can review here around recording and select which meets your needs for your organizations or for yourself. But if you take anything away from this video, be careful where you store your local recordings and make sure if you don't want to have the local recording on your computer, you select record to the cloud and you could grab that video. Because I cannot tell you how many times myself in the past, as well as clients, like people mess this up all the time. So just be very careful, right? Um, if you record to your desktop and you may be like, what is this file? And you delete it, you may be out of luck. So record to the cloud is my first recommendation and record to the desktop if you know you're immediately going to use that video or then move it to the cloud on your own, right? So hopefully this video was helpful and you are now able to understand how to one record in Zoom as well as how to get your recording after you've done recorded in Zoom. Alrighty, we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.